ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஹைஃபை டெக் அண்ட் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் சேனல் இன் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ சம் ஒன் ஆஸ்ட் மீ ஹவு டு பர்ஃபார்ம் ஏ ஃபியூரி அனலிட்டிக்கல் சார்ட் இன் பேஸ் ஸோ இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் யூ அனலிட்டிக்கல் சார்ட்ஸ் இன் பிடிபி ஃபார் தட் ஆல்ரெடி வி நீட் எ பேக் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் டூ வேஸ் ஐ எக்ஸ்பிளைன் யூ இன் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ஒன் இஸ் எக்லிப்ஸ் வே அண்ட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் இஎஸ் ஃபை கான்ஃபிகரேஷன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த பப்ளிக் சர்வீஸ் யூ கேன் யூஸ் இட் டு பைண்டிங் தி டேட்டா ஃபார் த அனாலிட்டிக்கல் சார்ட்ஸ் இஃப் யூ டிட் இன் கான்ஃபிகர் ப்ளீஸ் கான்ஃபிகர் இட் ஸோ இட் வில் பி ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் ஃபார் யூ டு பர்ஃபார்ம் எனி டெம்ப்ளேட் ஐ மீன் லிஸ்ட் ரிப்போர்ட் அனாலிட்டிக்கல் சார்ட்ஸ் ஓவர் யூ சார்ட்ஸ் எனிதிங் யூ கேன் யூஸ் இட் ஸோ ஹவு டு கான்ஃபிகர் மீன்ஸ் ஆல்ரெடி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இன் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ If you are not aware on it, please go through it once. So let's get start the project. File, New Project from Template. Here I am choosing a Fury Generator. Then Template is Analytical List Page. Here Data Source. The Data Source what I am selecting is ES5 that is already I configured. so this is the service i'm going to use this service i will maintain you in my description section directly also you can configure i will show you that also now connect to a data service within the url you can maintain directly the other way is you can use destinations and you can maintain yeah so this is the service i am going to maintain username and password here this is the username and password we have to maintain once you register it will generate an username and password so same things we are going to use it now login then click on next here choose an entity name product set remaining maintain it as usual as a default now here we have to give the project details remaining things maintain it as a default click on finish yes now the project has been generated and it will be saved for your further use now let's run the application so within the terminal i run the commands as usual npm install and npm run start now the application is running so if you see now when i choose an analytical template okay let's enter the authorization it is asking again dot i think this is for workspace authorization let's enter this maximum if you log in first time it won't ask long back i logged in the system that's why it is taking time see now if you see now you didn't see any chart or nothing yeah nothing right now we have to configure our annotations file for that how to do is go to here once you expand your project in your left left tab here we have an annotation folder within the annotation.xml file here we are going to define our annotation things so this is the default structure you can see it now here so what is the service we maintain that service details we are already it's here it's there now within the schema we are going to add our annotations the first way we, if you know the annotation structure how to define 
by using directly annotations like this you can define in case if you don't know this the one easiest option our BAS is provided and also in web ID also we have this option for that right click here we have an option called open guided development once you choose this open code guided development here we have to choose the project structure okay if you see here they can't read the property of variant structure here it's not supporting I will choose it all guided thing and let's go to analytical over sorry analytical list report page here I will add the chart yes so this is the structure I want to define start guiding then entity set name here these things are not generated right so I just I will give you some basic structure so based on that we will define our new things in case for you if it is didn't come directly also you can go to your annotation file and you can define it how to define it I will show you here itself first define an annotations within the annotations we have to define our annotation one annotation yeah so we want to use a chart right so we have to define a term equal to chart chart before that this is the service we are going to use for this service we need to configure the entity set for that we have to define a target target product so this is the target within this I am going to define a chart next I define the chart then record so this the records we are going to define now record ui what type of record type means we have to define that type equal to ui and if you see we need a chart definition right for that you have to def write chart ui dot chart definition type that means it will ask you what type of chart you want to configure for that next property that means you want to use a column chart bar chart line chart that all things we are going to use it now property property value equal to property yes this one equal to chart type next equal to ui dot chart type slash now I'm using bar chart like this so then once your property value is done what you have to do is you have to maintain the dimensions and measures so you know right dimensions means x-axis y-axis thing so as usual what in x-axis what dimensions you want to use that one we have to maintain so what you have to do is we have to define a property value as a dimensions and next property value as a measures 
copy the same here within the property you have to write it as a dimension if you don't know to how to write this means if you use space it will you use some suggestions if any suggestions will be there so once you specify the dimensions here we have to define which property you want to maintain it for a dimension section so if you see here let's go for the here what i will do is i will consider category as my <coughs> dimensions so what i will do is i will copy this and paste it here property path yeah property path <clears throat> property path here we have to define our name category yeah so this is the property path now same way we have to define the measures also yeah so now this is the dimension 1 and this is the measure i define tax tax code is my measure now let's run the application yes go if you see now our analytical graph is there if you see here yes, here so many things is there first one is hybrid that means it's a combination of table and the chart second one is an chart and third one is a table view here i didn't maintain any columns that's why it is showing this let me select some columns so you can see so this is the table this is the chart and here we have an option which chart you want to select you can select it here see this is the line chart and you can see the product details now everyone has in some confusion in case i want to maintain a multiple dimensions and multiple axes so how to do means here itself if you add one more dimension now i will choose category is one of the dimension now let's read on the application now you can see both same way here in measures also if you want to add you can add it and one more thing i want to tell you categories if you see everything i maintain in same category if you want to maintain it as in separate category also you can do it like this now which one you want if for example now supplier one i want to maintain it as a dimension 1 and category i want to maintain it as a diverse dimension 2 so that scenarios we have to maintain it as an attribute so after this we have to write the dimensions see you have to define chart dimension attribute type so here what i will do is first one category i want to maintain it as an normal supplier's name for the category i want to maintain it as a series section like this you can define same way you can write multiple paths here with i will choose and same like i want to write the measure attributes are so here we have to choose instead of dimensions you have to choose right measure 
here also you have to write chart measure measure is you means you are measure yeah here you have to make modify it as a measure like this here the role is a major role so here it will change instead of supplier's name your major will be an this with like this so this one i want to maintain it as an access one and this one i want to maintain it as an access two let's run the app once So once you define this initial structure, if you don't want to write the code manually, automatically also you can generate the code. That's when I will show it here. For that, just what you have to do is right click your product app and select the open guided development and let's select it here, go it back. Once you refresh it, it will show you an option to select the things. See here we have to select the group by and you want to add a table column, right? So what you have to do is table, search, analytical. If you want to add a table column, we can add it same way. If you want to add a filters, you can add it. If you want to add a chart, you can add it. So here already I choose the product entity, right? If you want to choose other entity and you have to choose the type and title, description and major property. I want to maintain it as a customer name, not customer name, net amount is the measure role now i will choose and dimensions is my custom yeah customer name is my dimension role once you click on the insert snippet means already the structure is there for the product right the same structure will add it to the chart name or to give supply yeah now once you click on that insert snippet that code will be added here automatically. See, already <clears throat> the dimensions, methods, everything will be there. Same way, the sales data will be there. So like this, you can add it. In case if you want to add a tables also, you can add it. So guys, now you guys know, right, how to define an analytical report. So in my next video, I will show you how to configure the test data in S4 HANA and also how to use the overview pages and multiple charts that all things I will show you to my next video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.